Today we will see how to write a program to check whether the number is palindrome or not. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and check out the playlist. It is compulsory. Okay. So before you jump into the questions, you should have some of the knowledge about C topics that are like C programming operators, C programming if statement loop and C programming while and do while loop. So if you haven't watched that video, the videos links are given in the description. So don't forget to check out down, right? So let's get down to the logics, how the programs execute. Okay. So palindrome number executions occurs in this manner. So first of all, we will ask to the user to give a number that is an integer. So after that, we will assign that number into another variable so that the value given by the user should not be altered in the whole program because we have to check it at the last, right? So we will store it safely in another place, in another variable, right? So after that, we will reverse the number that is entered by the user isn't it so we will reverse that number and we will compare it with the stored number and we will check it finally with the original number and we will get the answer now let's take the input from the user to start the program we will write the preprocessor main function and we will declare some of the variable that we will use in the program and after that printf will print to enter the number to check the palindrome and after that scanf will ask the user to input the integer value okay after that we have to reverse the number stored in the variable right so let us suppose the user input the number n is equals to 44 33 and 44 now we will reverse this number and we get the reverse number b443344 so this is the palindrome and in another case we take non-palindrome number as well so this reverse become like this and this is a palindrome while this is not a palindrome so in this case what is the main logics to understand the palindrome or how can we find or reverse the number so first of all you should know that reminder is equals to n percent 10 what does n percent 10 do so n percent 10 will give the reminder reminder means when we divide this number with 10 then the reminder will be simply the 4 right because we are dividing through 10 so this value will get localized right so let's go here you can see 443344 percent 10 means the 4 the number of the last digit will get stored and after that we will initialize a reverse variable to be zero why we are initializing this reverse to be a zero because now here you can see when we apply this reverse is equals to reverse times 10 plus reminder now what happens when the number entered by the user n percent 10 is done then what happens the value 4 comes at the place of reminder so here the value at first loop becomes 4 right so if we made zero here and we will make the same variable to be changed in every loop so here you can see zero is equals to zero into 10 plus 4 that means we get reversed value to be 4 and in another conditions what we need is another 4 right so we have to delete this 4 at this condition so we have to remove this 4 then how do we remove that 4 in that case if we divide this value by 10 then it will leave the remainder and the before part will be executed isn't it so if we do n n divide by 10 then that means what happens 4 4 3 3 4 will be stored in the n value so this means 4 4 3 4 4 now this 4 will be cancelled out and the value becomes 44334 four, right so we will repeat this loop in every condition okay back to the program you can see here i have stored the entered value in the temporary variable named as original and i have completed the while loop here so after that what we have to do is we have to compare the number that is entered by the user with the reverse number and we have stored that number in the original number variable so we will check with reverse number here so if the condition comes true then that will be the palindrome and if the condition is false then that is not a palindrome so here we have to write a if statement loop also so if that is true 
palindrome if not not palindrome right so we print the answer right now so now i will execute the program so to execute i will click in execute and compile and run and i will save this program here so one thing i should make you clear that don't offer a box because box will help you to increase your programming skills right so let's execute the program again and we can see the result here enter the number to check palindrome i will enter 343 which is a palindrome number yes of course so our program has been completed right so one non palindrome number also so here we go and enter something random number here and we can see here there is no this is not a palindrome number this is how we check the palindrome number thank you for watching have a great time subscribe